out in just a couple of hits, and then, yeah, the Fergaref could potentially try and, and reverse the Trick Room, um, or the Iron Hands could just use it um, to, to outpace some of Costa's team. Yeah, and seems like they're going for full offense here for Federico, leading with the Chiyu and the Maraidon. They're going with the heavy hitters immediately. Costa slowing it down just a little bit here, going with the Smeagol paired with Fergaref, so potentially trying to go for the Fake Out and Trick Room here. But the Maraidon surely is, is strong enough to be able to KO the, KO the Fergaref. I'm not sure if the Chiyu would be strong enough, though. Yeah, that's a, it's a tough choice to make because, um, yeah, Miraidon and Chiyu, both of them could go for some uh, spread type attacks. Um, but, ooh, eyeing out the Terra ground yeah. here on the Frigoref. So, yeah, you definitely want to set up Trick Room, but you want to do it in a way that either, I would say, the Smirgle and the Frigoref are healthy enough that next turn Frigoref can get something done, maybe mm -hmm. with a decorated, boosted Hyper Voice, or you want the Smirgle to go down this turn so you can go into your Calyrex Ice Rider. Yeah, it won't be going down this turn, though, because that Chiyu is going to be switching out. That means only one attack can go into the opposing Smirgle here, and its Focus Ash will keep it uh, on the field for this turn. The Chiyu switch into that Phorograph, like we mentioned, very strong in the Calyrex Ice Rider matchup. Going to get that Electric Seed, so it's increasing its defense even further. And immediate turn one Terrestrialization coming out for that Phorograph, like we said. Terra Ground going to keep it very safe from the opposing Maraidon. Uh, so going for Terra Ground to avoid any discharge. KOs into it as well, because the Heatwave yep. and Discharge would have got around the Follow Me here, which is coming out from the Smeggle. Yeah, so just a little bit of extra security by Costa saying that, okay, I don't really need my Terrestrialization in this matchup. I just want to get Trick Room up for sure. Mm -hmm. So, and I want to make sure that my Fergaroff doesn't take any damage at all. Um, so he's definitely valuing the Ferrigoref's HP a little bit higher than the Smirgas and also higher than keeping the option to, to wrestleize around. Um, but now, as Ferrigoref has joined the battlefield for Federico, and Moody, that's an ability I haven't seen in a minute, uh, not yeah. going to be too impactful here with a, with a 1 HP, um, but yeah, Federico has that option to potentially reverse the Trick Room right away, so that's already a little bit of a mind game going on here. Yeah, it is for sure. Whether, what, how fast the Smeagol hit is here as well is going to be quite crucial. If you run it very fast, well then you can't decorate yourself uh, and then attack. You'll have to attack, then decorate, and you won't be doing as much damage. But at the same time, Smeagol, if you run it as slow as possible, for something like Ferrigoref and Calyrex can uh, outspeed it if you just give a little bit of speed investment. Well, won't be able to find out this turn, though, because the Smeagol is going to be switching out. Ursaluna, a very good Pokemon to have in Trick Room. Yeah, absolutely. Um, another Pokemon that would be immune to any electric type attacks, but knowing that it is a choice backs Miraidon locked into Draco Meteor, Federico decides to swap it out, bring in the Iron Hands, which will benefit from the electric terrain, but also is one of those Pokemon on Federico's team that, as we've been saying, can play really nicely oh. on Trick Room. Oh, there's a Trick Room from Ferrigoref, but Ferrigoref on Costa's side hasn't moved yet. It's got to be reversing that Trick Room once again. Very good play coming out here from Costa. Getting his Trick Room Sweeper in, in the place of the Smeagol, while still having the Trick Room. And actually, got an extra turn of Trick Room exactly. on top of that. Yeah, I was just about to mention that not only is it a neutral play, it's actually a play that benefits Costa, because now, as you were saying, there's an extra turn of Trick Room, unless, of course, it's going to be reversed um, next turn. But now, having the powerful Ursuluna Blood Moon on the field, I feel like a helping hand Blood Moon could be enough to knock off the Ferrigoref, and then um, it could be really dicey for Federico as, yeah, none of his Pokemon really want to go up against that Ursaluna Blood Moon. No, not at all. There it is. There's the helping hand. There's the Blood Moon coming out from Ursaluna. Wow. Absolutely a one-hit KO on this opposing Ferrigoref, and that is no more availability for a reversal of Trick Room. Yes, this Iron Hand has been left alone. It can go for a Fighting-type attack into the Ursaluna. Drake Punch is not strong enough to KO this Ursaluna, though. Oh, wow. It's got one more hit left in it, and yeah. that might be all it needs. Yeah, there's two Pokemon in the back that ha have choice items, meaning yeah. neither of them can protect. The Ursaluna is confirmed to be the slowest on the field, or at least slower than the Iron Hands. So yeah. a helping hand, it could be an Earth Power going into the Chiyu for a knockout, could be a helping hand Hyper Voice. Of course, it can't be the helping hand Blood Moon, uh, but that would have been a little bit too nice, I guess, for Costa. Yeah, you, you need to consider the defensive terror here uh, coming out maybe from the Chi Yu, uh, but then that wouldn't matter against the opposing Hyper Voice. Would a helping hand Hyper Voice be strong enough to KO Chi Yu? It's going to be incredibly close. Yeah. Earth Power would obviously get, like, there's, there's three ground weak Pokemon left on yeah. Red Rizzo's side of the field. There has to be a defensive terror here, here, surely, to be able to try and avoid an Earth Power. But then if it's just Hyper Voice, that's just absolutely massive damage. Yeah, I think Costa could have tried to maybe protect potentially with the Ursaluna just to scout out um, for what Federico was going for. But instead, of course, you want to maximize um, your turns of Trick Room. And even if the Ursaluna Blood Moon goes down, it means that the um, Calyrex Ice Rider can join the battle, of course. So, yep. yeah, 
I think fine choice by Costa just going here on the offense. Yeah, and, and even if there isn't a KO on either Pokemon, everything's in Glacial Lance range at this point, and then that would be a just complete clean sweep for Calyrex Ice Rider. Oh, the mm. TU is able to survive that Hyper Voice, though. Uh, of course, Ursaluna was on such low HP, the Life Orb is going to take itself out, freeing up this Drain Punch and an attack from the TU into the opposing Ferrigraph. That's some very wow. good damage with a critical yeah. hit into that Ferrigraph. It's in range of any attack that the Chihu would want to go for here. Uh -huh. It doesn't really matter what it locks into, that Ferrigraph would be KO'd, but it is the Overheat. Of course, that would easily KO the Ferrigraph. It might have done it without the Drain Punch help as well, but then now you're stuck with a minus two Chihu on the yeah. field. Yeah, the Drain Punch, definitely helpful for the Iron Hands to get a little bit more HP back, but I think now we will see Smurgle and Calyrex Ice Rider join the battle at the same time, and this is exactly mm -hmm. what Costa needed, because now the Chiyu, while it terrestrialized, it, it, no matter what typing it is, it would go down to the Glacial Lands at this point. You can't yep. switch in the Miraidon, so it seems pretty safe to just go for the Fake Out into the Iron Hands and the Glacial Lands, and looks like Costa in this game one uh, has put himself into a position to win this game. Yeah, and that, like, I think that the reversal of the Trick Room, buying the extra turn, this would have been the last turn of Trick Room here, and then that could have opened up the potential of, well, here's Miraidon. now yep. I can go for Discharge, and maybe that's going to be able to paralyze your Calyrex, and then if you do get paralyzed, that's a KO. But there's an extra turn of Trick Room. This could be easily be fake out into the Iron Hands. Glacial Lance is KOing whatever that is in the GU slot, whether that's switched out. It stayed in, it's being KO'd. And now this should put the Iron Hands in range of that Glacial Lance. If, even if it wasn't enough to do half damage to the remaining HP of the Iron Hands, that was a KO on the GU. That's, yep. that's going to be a chilling nay boost, yep. getting your attack a, attack boost. The Maraidon can't defensively terror here anymore. It's choice specs, it can't protect. This is just a Glacial Lance and a, a game one for Costa. Yeah, showing how powerful this combination is of the Smeargle and the um, and the Calyrex, because yeah, with a fake out and the follow me, you have a perfect support kit here on the Smirgal. It doesn't really matter what the Moody boost does in this uh, situation. Of course, um, you might also have some nightmares still about mm -hmm. uh, that yep. ability back in the day, but uh, it was changed since then. It's not that as much of a thing anymore. But no matter what um, the Smirgal is doing this turn, uh, the Glacial Lands from Calyrex on the last turn of Trick Room will be enough to get both knockouts here. And um, yeah, with that, Costa is up 1 0 against Federico Camparese. Yeah, fantastic game one for Costa here. Going to be one game away from making it into the, the Whimsicott. Oh, it has protect. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. the Whimsicott has light screen instead of what would normally be the protect slot here. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be the same league coming out from Costa. The Smeagol and Frograph worked pretty well in that first game. Uh, but instead of the Chiyu, it's going to be the Frograph immediately threatening down a uh, head with that Maraidon. Yeah, so, but now we will have this Trick Room Mind game <laughs> from the very first mm -hmm. turn. Because, of course, Costa could just go ahead, go once again for the follow me and trick room. But then, yeah, Frigoraf on Federico's side could just do the same thing. So, is Costa just going for an attack, hoping that Federico will set up the trick room for him? Uh, that, that would also be very risky. So, already here in turn one, a very crucial decision. Yeah, it is for sure. You can absolutely decorate the Frigoraf. That's probably the best thing that the Smeagol can do. You, can go for a, uh, you can't go for a fake out into the Maraidon because the Frigoraf yep. is on the field. You can't spawn because the electric terrain's on the field. Follow me would be pretty reasonable as well, but then you're into the mind game of does my opponent set Trick Room or not? Yeah. Uh, and you can just go for the decorate into your Frigoraf immediately. It depends on the speeds of whether the Smeagol is super slow and the Frigoraf is reasonably slow. Uh, but yeah, just going, just going wow. on the offense here. Uh, Volt Switch bringing that Smeagol immediately down to the Focus Sash. Wow, it looks like Costa is outplaying Federico at least this turn he did not go for the for the Terra ground on the Ferrigoraf mm -hmm. because yeah. yeah in the first game he showed him hey I'm ready to commit my Terra just to get up the trick room so now Federico is like oh I, I can't really afford to yeah use my my powerful attack into um, into the potential Terra ground but mm -hmm. no now Costa is saving it for later gets off the decorate and that will boost Ferrigoraf's at a uh, special attack stage uh, quite a bit powerful hyper voice coming out now yeah powerful hyper voice oh, and wow. there it was there oh. was the attempt at the reverse of trick room Ooh. but no setting it for Costa. Now the Frigoraf has been decorated. You saw how much the Hyper Voice did. That's going to be able to pick up the knockout on the Urshfu. Yep. And then after another decorate, could be in range of the KO for the Frigoraf as well. Yeah, and you can't go for a Sucker Punch, of course, because of the Armor Tail. Mm -hmm. So that means... Yeah, I don't see much of a reason for, for Costa to switch anything up. He can just go for another Decorate, and Decorate, in a way, also acts like a follow me, yep. because you have to deal with the Smirgle at some point. Yeah, you're... No, and it's over! Wow! That's a forfeit! Wow. Immediately! Wow, a turn one, a turn two forfeit coming out from Federico. Costa Dynamos oh. is going to advance to day two! Oh my god. What a 